So I got Sam again, uh, September 10th, 2009. Hey, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the cost of living here in Ho Chi Minh City. But before I get into that, I just realized I, I forgot to tell you where to get those great uh, soapy case sardines uh, that I was talking about in the food video. You can get those from almost any store except Co-op Mart and uh, Lottie Mart. Uh, a lot of convenience stores carry them. Uh, Anam Gourmet has them. Uh, Veggie has them. Fibby Mart has them. So uh, those are uh, a great way to uh, kind of supplement your diet with omega-3 and some other healthy ingredients. Okay, so uh, about the cost of living. Um, first of all, you know, unless you're a lucky expat working for a bank or an investment company or something, um, you're, you know, you're going to be earning, as an English teacher, which is by far the most common job among foreigners, you're going to be earning anywhere from maybe 1300 to 1600 a month, depending on experience. And again, you do have to have a TESOL certificate for that if, if you want to uh, make any useful headway whatsoever with it. Um, now, you know, the great thing about Vietnam in general is that economically speaking, there's a whole lot of throttling you can do here. I mean, if you get into trouble, uh, you can easily lower your cost of living and still basically survive. On the other hand, if you do really well, uh, you know, the sky's the limit as far as uh, how much luxury uh, you can obtain and so forth. Um, so, Generally speaking, if you want to live, uh, you know, what we call a, a basic kind of subsistence Western lifestyle, you know, I'm talking about a small one-bedroom apartment, uh, safe, decent food, safe, decent water in a secure area with decent air, um, you know, your rent's going to probably run about 500 bucks a month, uh, you know, U.S. dollars. Um, your food, uh, if you order from Organic VN, which I highly recommend, and you supplement it with some of the other foods I've mentioned from Anam, Veggie, uh, and, uh, and other places, um, you're looking at probably about 300 a month in food, so there's 800 bucks. Uh, clothes and basic materials and supplies are really, really cheap. Uh, I mean, this, this fabulous silk shirt, for instance, costs about, uh, about $8. Um, you know, you get a great pair of slacks here for nine, ten bucks. In fact, that's the greatest thing about Co-op Mart. Actually, their their clothes, despite being like a cheap low-end store, their clothes are really excellent, high quality, very cheap. Um, so, you know, if you also want uh, medical care, I wouldn't really recommend medical insurance unless you buy it from a Western insurer because I really wouldn't uh, trust that you know they're going to pay over here. Um, having said that, uh, medical care is cheap enough that Sometimes you don't even need to carry insurance or just carry it for really big, serious situations. Um, so, you know, it, it totally depends on your age and what you want in an insurance plan or whether you want one at all. <clears throat> I would budget for a healthy person, uh, which is another reason I recommend spending more money on food than the doctor. Uh, you know, I'd budget about 100 a month. Um, it's probably not even that much. You know, you can get a, a whole pretty thorough blood panel for like 60 bucks. But you know, 100 to 200 a month for that. You know, so now we're up over a thousand. Um, so now, if you want to have any kind of a social life, <clears throat> you know, you're looking at maybe another 200 dollars a month or so in terms of going out. Um, uh, alcohol and bars and all that is really expensive. Uh, I'd recommend uh, finding another kind of social life. Uh, avoid the coffee shops; they're really expensive, and the food isn't good, and oftentimes the service isn't that great either. Um, you know, if, if you can do the low budget. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, go see the parks, the museums. There are some really uh, uh, great uh, historical sites here um, that, you, that you can see. You know, you can go to the beaches and so forth once in a while. Yeah, you know, now we're, we're up to probably 13, 1400 a month. Um, and then transportation, <clears throat> transportation, I mean, taxis start out, the, the hailing fare is like 60 cents. It's really, really cheap. Um, you know, you'll, you'll probably spend, um, Depending on how often you use a taxi, I mean, a, a typical ride is going to cost you anywhere from a dollar to five dollars, depending on you know whether you're going a hundred percent of the way across town or you know just to the next district. Um, there's also uh, great bus services here, uh, which run anywhere from uh, uh, like twenty cents to to like sixty cents a ride, and for sixty cents you can get like halfway across the city. It's really fantastic. Um, if you're going to maintain a motorbike. You know, you're looking at oil changes, you're looking at the cost of the motorbike, um, you know, a gasoline and so forth. I don't know what that's going to run you, but a uh, typical motorbike costs anything that, that of quality is going to cost $2,000 to $3,000 and up. Um, but again, as I recommended, I, I wouldn't really get a motorbike. I would live in a place where you can take the bus and augment with taxi, you know. So at that rate, you'd be spending, you know, maybe uh, about... 
let's see, about $10 a day, $8 a day on transportation times 30 days is around 250 bucks. So now we're up 15, 1600, you know, and then if anything goes wrong, <clears throat> you got to ship something from your home country. Um, just, just to ship like a FedEx envelope here from, from North America runs 50 bucks to 75 bucks um, for economy. Uh, anything in a box, uh, I mean, it gets atrocious. You know, you're, you're looking over $200 sometimes for three or four kilos worth of stuff. Um, certainly, if you have a friend coming to visit, uh, ask them to load up. Now, I, I do know that there are some shipping companies here who do surface freight, and it's considerably cheaper. I don't have expertise with that, but you can save money. <clears throat> you know, so once you add up all these little extras and you know, let's face it, you'll probably want to buy a few things for your apartment that, you know, even if you get a furnished place, you're going to want maybe an extra, I, I don't know, a lamp or something. So when you add all of this up, honestly, the, the really bare minimum for what we in the West would consider, you know, a basic lifestyle, you're going to run you 2000 a month. So you're going to be cash flow negative on a teacher's job. I mean, there's almost no question, unless you're working so hard that you defeat the purpose of living here anyway, which is to enjoy life, you know, and, and uh, to get to know the country, you know. Um, but um, yeah, so so you basically have to pick up anywhere from 500 to 1,000 uh, in in extra living expenses. And and again, I mean, if if you want you know a little bit better quality, you want better food, better water, better air, you know, it's not that hard to push it up to like 3,000 bucks a month. So I, I would kind of say that's the range. I mean, unless you're you're nuts and you want like a Mercedes or something crazy, but. Uh, you know, because transportation is really cheap here. But if, if you want a decent life without superfluous luxury, that's the range you're looking at. So, you know, that means you need a, a business or investment portfolio that's going to generate anywhere from $500 to $1,500 a month to cover your shortfall. You know, so you're looking at something $100,000 to $400,000 in the bank. Now, you know, if you're just coming down here for a year, okay, that's not a big deal. Just save up a few thousand extra bucks and you're okay. But if you want to, have a you know a retirement out here or whatever, and you're willing to teach so you can get the visa. Um, you're going to have to support it with uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings. And ag again, um, you have to keep in mind that doesn't include, you know, it, as people get older, obviously they go to the hospital more, they need more expensive drugs and everything, you know, and all that has obviously nothing to do with Ho Chi Minh City. But if you're planning on settling here, you need to assume that you're going to have to procure the same drugs and maybe the same uh, doctor services and whatever. Um, and realistically speaking, um, there's not a whole lot in the way of medical drugs here or frankly services. I mean, there's, there's basics, but if you want any major surgeries or anything, you need to go to Hong Kong or Singapore or Taiwan. Um, you know, if, if you need expensive or unusual drugs, um, you're gonna have to have them shipped and that's gonna cost just an arm and a leg, you know, probably $100 a shipment just for a couple bottles of things. Um, so anyway, I hope that gives you some idea. Now, as far as you know, uh, basic services like internet, you can get the internet quality here. By the way, has been radically improving. Um, it's really impressive, actually, the, the rate at which uh, uh, the quality has improved. I mean, just in in the time that I've been here, I've seen it go from like modem speed to like you know, uh, actually they top out uh, close to 10 megabits now. I think. Uh, but you can get a, a decent, you know, meg and a half line DSL for uh, about 30 bucks a month. Um, electricity, you know, for for a two bedroom place is going to run you, uh, you know, 25, 30 bucks a month. It's not that bad. Water, uh, you know, five bucks. It's really cheap. Um, typically when you rent a place, they do ask you to pay maintenance fees, whereas in other countries, the, the landlord would pay that. But maintenance fees, you know, $10, $20, depending on where you are a month. Um, and the apartments, uh, you know, will range, there's a huge range, I mean, anywhere from, uh, well, you can rent a place for $200 a month, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I think if you want to be in a secure place, don't rent uh, a dodgy house somewhere, rent, rent a, a, an apartment you know, in a high rise so that, uh, so that you're more secure. And, and for those, the minimum is really about 500, um, you know, and then they go up to 1800. Um, and I'll have more to say about that in a subsequent video, but, uh, that's what you're looking at. I hope it gives you some idea.